common fault that I see that most amateur golfers do is they've been told or we've seen the videos of where people put head covers underneath their right arm or they they put two towels underneath their arms you've probably seen that before and they turn to the top the thing is when you usually see somebody doing that hey welcome back to Danford Golf Instruction today we are going to talk about your right arm and how it can make you become a more powerful golfer and then at the same time if you use your right arm the wrong ways all right it can make you hit the ball more sideways and it can make you hit the ball a lot shorter all right so make sure you stay tuned uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you can see future videos we always appreciate that uh, give us a thumbs up and hit the bell so you can see some of our future videos that we have coming out how can your right arm help you hit the ball further uh, before we talk about that, we're going to talk about what you do wrong with your right arm that causes you to hit the ball shorter. Okay? So one of the biggest things that I see that most amateur golfers do, I guess you can say wrong in the beginning, is they're trying to make a bigger shoulder turn. All right? But what they actually do is they fold that right in really, that right arm really close to the body really early, right? and they push that left arm across their chest, the hands are really low. The swing looks like it's a full swing, but as soon as you let your right arm bend really early in your golf swing, you're losing out on a huge power source in your golf swing, and we'll explain that a little bit later. So that's the biggest, most common fault that I see that most amateur golfers do, is they've been told, or we've seen the videos of where people put head covers underneath their right arm, or they, they put two towels underneath their arms. You've probably seen that before and they turn to the top. The thing is, when you usually see somebody doing that, those people are very mobile, okay? They can do that. I remember seeing pictures of Patrick Harrington putting two gloves underneath both his arms when he was hitting golf balls, all right? Those guys, this is what they do for a living. They're extremely mobile, they're extremely athletic, so they can do that kind of stuff to help them, I guess you could say, tighten up their golf swing. But for most everybody else out there who this isn't their main job, their main title in life, all right, the f worst thing that you can kind of do to suck power away from you is really feel like those arms kind of stay close or put something underneath your right arm. I know that people are afraid of having the elbow kind of being the right flying elbow, all right. If you are worried about that, the simple test that you can do is hold your arm at 90 degrees and it should go back to basically where your head is as you turn back or greater. Okay. If you have a flying elbow, you're doing something, you're either not mobile enough to do that or you're doing something right with your wrong or something wrong with your right arm as you're taking the club away. Okay. So if you're somebody who gets here and you can only go like that, you're going to have a flying elbow. So you should probably shorten up your golf swing, but that's a different video altogether. All right. So we're just talking about what the right arm, what it should do. Okay. So that's what we don't want it to do. We don't want it to go close to our bodies like that. All right. If somebody gives you that advice, ignore it for a little while okay now what you all wanted to hear is what do we do with our right arm to help us become more powerful okay all right here's the next big misconception what you do with your right arm that actually causes you hit the ball less is the idea that you actually don't let it bend so it's the exact opposite is that you take it away and it, you try to keep it completely straight because you're trying to get that width in the golf swing and then you have these wrists kind of at the top. It works for Bryson DeChambeau, but if you watch 98% of other golfers on tour, they're not going to do it this way. All right, so don't just try to keep that right arm straight, all right, because then you're just basically just going to slap at it. You might as well just take out a 2 by 4 and just try to hit it like that because that's basically what you're doing. You're not going to create any speed that way. So now what you've been waiting for is what do we do with our right arm to help us become more powerful, okay? You have to load your right arm so you can unload your right arm. So those players who stick with that straight arm, they never have a chance to really unload it, okay? If you do watch Bryson this weekend on the PGA Championship, he'll be up here and then you'll see him down cock and load the right arm so then he can unload it, all right? He just is a little bit different with how he takes it away. Now for everybody else out there, when you take that club away, all right, we want the right arm to stay straight until the club is about parallel with the ground. All right, what that does is it helps make sure that our chest continues the turn 
and it doesn't stop. If you bend it too early, you barely, basically your body goes, I don't need to turn anymore, all right? We want your right arm to feel like it's shoving that right shoulder for us right-handed golfers behind our head. So you gotta make sure that it stays pretty straight, all right? It doesn't have to feel locked or hyperextended or anything, just pretty straight. Just make sure you turn your chest. All right, then as it starts to climb up, you start to let it load. All right, so it starts to bend. We've all heard that kind of L position in the golf swing. All right, and from there, your right arm is loaded and you're good to go. And then on the way down, it's still loaded and then we've thousands of videos on lag and then you actually release it. But if you never load that right arm, you never have a chance to release it. If you bend it too early, you'll most likely cast it early. All right, so there's a right sequence when it comes to how you load your right arm for more power. So make sure you got that nice wide turn, let it load, let it come down so it's, it's going to lose a little bit of angle to that right arm on the way down, and then at impact, it'll be straight. Okay, so from down the line, good shoulder turn, All right, right arm stays pretty straight, not locked, not hyperextended, you let it load. Right, and then you let it unload on the way down, especially if you want to shallow it. If you just pull, you're going to be steep. You got to let it unload on the way down and then release on the way through. All right. So that's how you can use your right arm to help you become more powerful, to hit the ball a whole lot better, and just to make golf a lot easier for you without you doing something that you saw a friend do or a friend gave you advice to do, something like that. All right, let's go ahead and demonstrate real fast for you. Again, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. We appreciate that. And all those who are subscribers, thanks for watching.